The Phoenix OS X86 can run on devices with Intel X86 series CFS. It can be installed on the hard disk for operation, without affecting the original document system. Phoenix OS is not stable yet it has a lot of issues now we'll talk about some major issues that people face. The recommended computer settings for Phoenix OS, computers with Intel x86 processor and internal storage of more than 2G from the past 5 years. Phoenix OS has some major problems while running. These are the main problems. First installation error. Second dual booting. Third restarting problem. Fourth mouse not working in the game. Fifth Wi-Fi disconnects automatically in 30 minutes. Now let's talk about exact solutions to the mentioned problems. Installation and dual boot error. The bootloader grub wasn't working because it wasn't installed. That explains why you have no boot menu. Make sure secure boot is disabled in the BIOS. Here are your options. 1. You can install the Grub2 bootloader using Grub2Win HTTPS slash slash sourceforg.net slash projects slash Grub2Win slash files slash. Instructions are on the same page. 2. Reinstalling Phoenix OS including the bootloader Grub. 3. Rerun the installer and find an option to install Grub. I don't know if there is one. 4. Some other people used eZip to modify the Windows Boot Manager. That method is more complicated. If you find a good tutorial, you could try that. Next restarting problem. Is this system one with 32-bit EFI? You show this since the one. EFI slash boot slash busher 32 dot EFI which is for 32-bit EFI boot. But also have this. EFI slash boot slash boot 64 dot EFI for 64 bit. Most systems require legacy slash CSM off slash EFI on, and often better with secure boot off. But every system seems to have different ways to configuring those settings. And a few like Dell seem to boot better in EFI mode with legacy on. Most only boot in legacy mode with legacy slash CSM slash BIOS on. Mouse not working in the game. When installing please make sure cable or mouse is connected so that a driver also install along with systems drivers. I did the same and now my I have no issue while playing any game. Wi-Fi disconnectivity. Maybe there isn't support for your device's Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth card in the kernel. This is a known issue as there are millions of different combinations of devices and parts that have and have not been accounted for when it comes to compatibility. Support for these unsupported devices and parts require the developers backporting functioning Phoenix OS drivers for the part in order for it to work. Then again there have been cases of people saying that their Wi-Fi and Bluetooth worked in earlier versions of Phoenix.